the athletic. Steve, what did you see on the foul call against MCW with 18 seconds? Well, I just left? watched it. I mean, the, what, what, what was said to me was he hit him in the head. He did not hit him in the head. So uh, I don't think that that, in my opinion, that hadn't, that, that's not a foul, uh, particularly at that point in the game. It was actually pretty good defense. He had no lane to score the ball, and uh, he did not hit him in the head. I just watched it. So that's what I was told. That was the signal he gave uh, when he made the foul call. And I'll tell you with 100% certainty, he, there was no contact to the head. So, uh, yeah, I didn't think it was a foul. And did you, what was your opinion of the non -foul, foul call on Solomon Hill on T. Ross's attempt in the lane with eight I seconds? I didn't watch it yet. I didn't watch it yet. Dan Savage, RolandoMagic.com. Cliff, other than the two plays that Josh alluded to, uh, the perimeter defense, particularly in the fourth quarter, you know. No, no, the pick and roll defense, not, not, not perimeter defense, the pick and roll defense was the problem. Started right, uh, you know, when we got up 17 there in the fourth. And the, the, the group that was on the, the, first, the first two minutes of the fourth quarter, they ran four pick and rolls without a call, without a call from the man defending a screener, not one call. And that's what set the tone for the whole quarter. Paul Casanova, EDF Sports. Uh, hi, Coach. You kind of took my uh, my answer, my question right there. But um, do you think it's also time with calls like that and things that happen at the end of games that we get to talk to our referees after the games, like they make you and the players come out? So we also not get to talk to the referees? Uh, I know there's a there's a rule by which that that can happen. So I don't know how it takes place, but it's 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 uh, it's possible to do. Alex Fleming, Florida Sun. So Trey Young gets a call on the opposite end that was questionable at best. Michael Carter Williams drives the lane and he's called for an offensive foul. Considering that we're at home or you're at home, should we expect to get that call or uh, this not in this league? I mean, because there's no, they don't have to worry about that. I mean, which is, it's a big advantage for our league. We have the best referees in the world. They don't have to worry about pleasing home court uh, fans or ADs or anything like that. So, uh, they're graded equally every game. So, no, we, we shouldn't expect any of that. We should expect them to make the right call, home or road. Okay, any final questions? Okay, thank you, Coach.